Ciao guys, welcome to a new video about a day in the life of a remote data analyst working from Bali in Indonesia. It is my fifth time here and the simple reason is that this is the perfect place for remote workers to uh, work from abroad, especially for me, just an amazing change of scenery from London, uh, where I'm uh, currently living. And so I'm gonna be as transparent as possible, show you what I do uh, on a day, how much I spend. We have a busy, busy day ahead, so I'll see you very soon. There are at least two main things that I want to clarify before I start with this video. So the first one is a lot of people asking me, okay, I want to become a data analyst and can I uh, start working remotely straight away? And the simple reason is that for me, uh, that's not kind of the right approach to have. I have now the chance to work remotely, but it took me time. It took me time to build trust in my manager. It took me time to, well, get the skills and uh, really make them understand that I can, you know, deliver work and I'm a serious person, uh, regardless of where I'm located. So. This is not something that you will be able to do from day one. Uh, again, it takes some time to just, uh, as I said, build that trust and loyalty with the company to then ask them, okay, uh, this is the stuff that I'm able to do because I deliver already some stuff. Can you let me work remotely for some days or weeks? The second thing that I want to clarify is that I told you that Bali is the perfect place, but is it the perfect place all year round? That's not really the case. And uh, as I'm uh, recording this video, it started to rain like crazy. So in Bali, you wouldn't expect a seasonality like summer and winter, so, you know, cold and warm weather, but you would rather expect some rainy season and uh, hot and uh, more kind of uh, dry seasons. For example, now that I'm recording this video, it's January and uh, it is in the middle of the rainy season. So it means that it's still super warm every single day but then all of a sudden it can start raining quite a lot. It will probably last for like five, 10 minutes and then you will probably get some more sun and maybe some other rains throughout the day. To me, it's not really a stopper or anything that turns me down, but just something that uh, you would need to be aware of. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show you is obviously where I'm staying in Bali. So I'm staying in Changu, which is the pretty much the hub for all the digital nomad and remote workers. And I'm currently staying in a three bedroom massive villas that is the one that you show here in the background. Something interesting that I would like to mention is that I will never stay in a massive place like this by myself. The only reason why I'm here is that I'm actually not paying anything for this villa. And the simple reason is that because I have some followers, I, before coming here to Bali, I message a few hotels and villas and I just said that in exchange of a video or some kind of uh, promotions, uh, if they can offer uh, me to stay in the villa for free. And they actually accepted, and which is kind of crazy to me, but at the same time, it makes sense because if they happen to have a, some villas or rooms that are currently empty, I think they could benefit from someone just taking some content, uh, sharing the content with them so that they can reuse it for their own advertisements or marketing. Just uh, do this kind of win-win uh, thing with uh, content creators or other people with a few followers online. So I guess something interesting that I'm testing right now, I never <laughs> done something like this before. I would never expect to, you know, be able to stay in a place like this for free. And so, yeah, I thought I would just share this with you again. I want to be very transparent with you, but also tell you that you don't need a massive amount of followers to do something like this. You just need to be good at making videos, I guess. And as I said, it's probably a win-win situation for both myself and, uh, and these kind of uh, agencies or hotel and villas management. And I mentioned this in other videos as well, but in Bali, you can definitely get a private room uh, just for yourself for uh, around $15 uh, per night. Uh, obviously, you can go high end with uh, places like this for like much higher amount. But yeah, you can expect any price point starting $10, $15 per night. It's morning here in Bali, meaning that in Europe, the rest of the people are all sleeping. So I'm just going to wait for the rain to stop and then I'm going to head to do some sport. So the first thing that I'm gonna do today is actually working on my business. If you're new here, for context, I started creating content online 
in mid-2023, uh, so it's been around 18 months of consistency. And right now I have around more or less 500,000 followers across all the platforms where I'm active. And so I'm talking about Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and YouTube mainly. Having an audience in 2025 matters. And no, it's not because you need to make social media your full-time job. It actually helps a lot in your career. And I am the perfect example because my current job literally happened because a recruiter found my YouTube tutorials, loved them, and reached out to me, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But obviously it's not just that, when people see, oh, okay, this guy has, I don't know, 30,000 followers, they automatically think you're an expert. And that's something you need to take advantage of. And the best part is that you can do it all from your phone. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. The creator economy is a multi-billion dollar industry and it's only getting bigger. So if you're not already posting, you should definitely be. And I want you to stop thinking, oh, I could never do that and start realizing that anyone can grow on social media if they just show up every single day. Now, building a brand online, it's basically like running a business and I am my own boss, which means I also have to handle everything, emails, sponsorships, negotiations. And right now I'm about to go through my inbox and reply to brands reaching out for collaborations. Some of them want sponsorships. Uh, some are asking about pricing and I also need to check in with my editors to make sure we are all on the same page. So. Yeah, I'm basically managing a team of three to uh, five people. And I get so many emails, like at least five a day. So first ask, let's knock those out and let's uh, get some more done. Okay, so I'm done with the emails. Today was uh, actually very productive because it took me around one hour and I actually closed one of the deals. And also for full transparency, you will see at some point in this video a brand collaboration that I made so that you can also get an idea of uh, you know how fun these deals can be. I'm now doing a quick break for lunch. I'm having a tuna, pokeball and a berry kombucha. And I paid around $6 just to give you an idea of Bali prices. Now, straight after lunch, I'm back to the villa as I have some data analytics work to do as part of my job. Today, I will be working inside Tableau pretty much the whole day. I have built my data source, which I built using what is called custom SQL in Tableau, which means that instead of connecting directly to a table, I'm writing my own SQL query so that I can select only the data that I need. I'm combining different tables together, and this will also help the performance of the dashboard when someone loads it online. I also have a few calls, but my main task today is finding some trends and interesting patterns using Tableau. And it sounds kind of generic because it actually is. Usually, you know already what you want to build in a dashboard, but this time we have some problems in the company that we're trying to solve for, but it's not really clear what is causing the issue. And it's my task to use data to provide some answers. This means that I'm literally creating different worksheets in Tableau and build some charts. If that chart is not telling me anything interesting, I need to move on and test something different. And in case I find something actually useful, I will add it to my final dashboard that I will then present to my manager. And to build my final dashboard, I'm also checking online for some cool templates that I can reuse so that I don't have to waste a lot of time uh, coming up with a new design. Okay, so I'm done with a very productive day of work. Now it's time to get some food. And actually tonight I have something very interesting planned for dinner. I don't want to reveal it just yet, but let's say it's not the usual dinner that you'd expect. Come with me and I'll show you what I mean. I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't want to be like you. If you want to take it back to the 50s, maybe I'm not the guy for you. You're dying not to work, but work until you die. You know. So what was that all about? Well, this is not just any dinner. I'm actually meeting five complete strangers, but Here's the cool part. We were all matched based on our personalities thanks to this app called TimeLeft. It's super simple. Every Wednesday you book a seat and TimeLeft does the rest. They match you with uh, people you might actually vibe with, pick a great restaurant and basically give you the chance to create friends in a very natural way. And the best part is happening all over the world, six countries and 300 cities. I actually first tried it in London and it turned out to be a great way to connect with people in the city. Way better than those awkward networking events. I met people working in finance and tech and we are still in touch even after that dinner. But I also love using it here in Bali since I don't know many people here and it's an easy way to make connections while traveling. And after dinner there is a secret after drinks spot that gets revealed in the app so if you're having a great time the night doesn't have to end. Honestly it's such a fun way to meet people whether you are new in town or just want to mix things up. And if you want to try it out, I'm partnering with Time Left, so you can use code LORESOWAT25 for 25% off, which is valid only until the end of February. So 
uh, make sure to use it right now. I will leave the link in the description to access timelife.com. Ciao, man. Uh, very nice to meet you. What's your name? It's Adnan. Okay. Can I ask you if you enjoyed the dinner tonight? The dinner was amazing. I liked it. The people are nice. The atmosphere is nice. It's raining, but it's always raining in Bali, you know. Uh, can I ask you how did you find out about uh, Time Left? So a friend suggested this app for me. I said, yeah, sure, why not? And I don't regret it. What I like about Time Left, it's Time Left organizes the thing for you, does the job for you, all the dirty work, and you just go there. Yeah, at least they mixed us. We're not all boys, you know, at least that's so we yeah. mixed. That's what I like about it. And do you think you're going to meet again with the people that you, you met tonight? Sure, yeah, why not? Okay, thanks, man. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Yeah, Cheers. great up. Great uh, experience. Ciao, guys. So it was uh, very nice to meet you tonight. Can I ask you, well, first of all, did you enjoy the dinner? Yeah, uh, I had a really great time in dinner. I think the restaurant itself is interesting. As, we can, as you know, that the food comes with like a very interesting plates and decoration and also with the groups I think yeah. like people coming from different background and like with like from different country I think it's nice to get to know like uh, where they're coming from and what they're doing in Bali yeah yeah and uh, can I ask you uh, why did you decide to use time left uh, was it because like you don't meet with uh, strangers usually like what's what's happening so I'm a solo traveler so when you go on this trip like um, I do meet people like like because I stay at hostels and things like that but I just wanted another way to also um, find more genuine connections with people and one of the ways that I think that I'm able to do that is through the app. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will leave you an amazing view from Diamond Beach and another video that you may like. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.